What's up, Cancer? This is Soul here. And Cancer, this is your uh, November 2018 general love and relationship messages reading. Uh, the reading messages will be for, uh, of course, Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, for singles as well as couples. Okay, my fellow crabs, I hope all is well. Before I begin, I want to uh, wish all those Cancerians a very happy, safe Thanksgiving holiday and also happy Black Friday if you uh, guys who um, do that shopping on Black Friday to get those sales. And then, for, you know, let me just backtrack it a little bit. Everybody doesn't celebrate the holidays. It's just going out to those who do. And uh, I just want you to be safe and enjoy uh, the best that you can. Okay. So we um, begin the energy off. So let me do this first because I always seem to forget to do this. Your shadow energy relates to the magician, which is the uh, major arcana. Um and it's in the upright position. So when it comes to relationships, and that's all I'm going to be talking about, I'm not going to be discussing any other aspects or areas of your life, Cancer. So just stay focused on love and relationships and how the messages may apply to you and your situation. The good side of this um, magician is that we have all the elements that we need to either manifest the relationship that we want or to bring into our life, or it could be that you're already in a current relationship and then you have all those tools necessary to change anything around that's not um you know basically resonating uh, for you for your highest good all right the negative side is of this magician relates to uh because i always pick it up as an actual person this could be someone new that you know some cancerians meet in the month of november and this person has false energy uh, oftentimes on the negative side of this um, card, I always pick up uh, sociopathic behaviors, narcissistic uh, behaviors. This is someone who puts on a mask. Uh, you have to think of the magician as uh, on the negative side as a trickster, someone who is just falsely uh, pretending to be somebody who they're not. Uh, they're only out to get uh, whatever it is that they can get from you. Love, sex, money, drugs, whatever. So just be careful of this energy in the month of November. Uh, and I also could be talking to someone who's already dealing with the magician's energy. OK, but it has not been uh, revealed just yet because the mask is still uh, they're still wearing that mask. OK, so we have um, the absence of cups. So there is no despair here because the cups didn't show up. Um we do have the major arcana of the moon, which could represent uh, cup energies, but it's uh, specifically Pisces is water energy, but Pisces, uh, Cancer and Scorpio, male or female. So this moon is an indication of a cycle being completed. A new cycle is about to uh, open up for you or there's a change. This also could be a month where some are reflecting on their uh, current relationships or relationships of their past. This is also a card when it's in the upright position about secrets being revealed. Also, do not allow your energy to, cons you know, to succumb to any types of depression or melancholy or feeling of the blues in the month of November. But most of that energy could be attributed to um, the holidays because the holidays bring on certain types of energies. Like I had said in the opening, everybody doesn't enjoy uh, spending the holidays either with family members, you know, uh, romantic partnerships or whatever. So don't succumb to that type of energy. Also to the... Um, Moon represents reputations, too. So you have to take that information and um, <clears throat> basically um, tie it into your situation. If it's about your reputation and your relationships and it's impacting you, then that's the message that's coming through. For any females that are in a relationship or single, then the empress is here. She's in the reverse. And this is an indication of there's no pregnancy. Okay. There could be a, um, someone who's, uh, pregnant at this time. And then there's a delay. You're not going to go on your, uh, your due date. Um, so no pregnancies in the month of November. Our opening energy relates to options, seven of pentacles. Okay, she's at the flower bed and she's enjoying all the beautiful flowers and the many flowers that she can pick and choose from. So you have to take that uh, in relationship to uh, 
you know, in general to people, you know, this might be uh, some options coming up for us, uh, you know, people for us to meet. Now, whether or not they're going to be uh, Earth sign energies, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female, uh, it doesn't really matter. So we do have options open up to us uh, in the month of November if you are looking for a relationship. And also to that seven of Pentacles, being that it is um, Earth energies, it's also a card of generosity, stability and security. So we could be talking about some cancers who are either single at this particular time and this is the type of relationship that they're uh, hoping to manifest with the magician that this relationship new relationship fosters or brings in security stability uh steadiness okay normally the um pentacles relates to um long term and longevity so keep that in mind as well so we do have the options uh, coming in for us what's crossing that seven of pentacles is the temperance card and the temperance card is a major arcana as well that's in the reverse and <clears throat> this is a little uh indication of an imbalance okay mind you it's over top of the other major arcana the moon so it might be that some of you experience some little imbalance uh, when it comes to um, your relationships and also to peace and harmony might be a little bit shook up, but still not to despair because we do have uh, some other good cards here, even though most of the cards here are in the reverse. Following this uh, temperance card, which represents fire energies, Sagittarius uh, in particular, but also Leo and Aries, male or female. So there might be some crabs that I'm reading for that are in relationships uh, with fire signs or there's, um, you know, uh, yeah, cancers that are dating fire signs. I'm getting that it's their energy, something that's um, going on with them. And it may be an imbalance going on with them and it may not, but it's impacting you. The bottom line is it may be impacting you. And being that it's over top of the moon card, that's where I feel that there's, uh, you know, the cycle, some cycle, you know, coming to an end or closure and then a new cycle opening up. So if you were to um, look at this reading and the, how I spread the cards out, you, you could just say that the top half could represent the, you know, the first half of the month and then as we move to the bottom cards, then that would be the latter half of the month of November. So if there is an imbalance going on here with a relationship or there's a lack of peace and harmony um, with your significant other, then there's a change that's going to come around indicated by the moon being in the second half of the cards that I have spread for you. So that's where I said that even though we don't have the cups here, Cancer, do not despair when it comes to your relationship. Some of you may be... Um, having to end some sort of uh, closure with uh, your your relationships. Uh, this is the Ten of Swords, and I like the Ten of Swords when it shows up in the um, reverse position. This is a card of not only a lot of conflicting energies, but it's also a backstabbing type of uh, energy. So not physically backstabbing, but, you know, <clears throat> someone could be doing or have done something to you in the relationship this card um even though i usually pick up a lot of energy from the nine of swords this is also one sword higher than the nine so this is relevant when it comes to all of those things that could you know possibly bring on some type of conflict which is all of the things in the nine of swords plus one additional conflict so whatever that might be so this could be shaming um this could be um You know, having to deal with some sort of affairs, cheating, lying, being disrespectful. That's all. And I'm only giving you a tidbit, but it's a lot of other uh, conflicting energies here. But whatever it is that's relevant to you, the Ten of Swords, which, you know, the Tens and the Fives, when they show up, is potential energy to come. But normally there's a change of uh, energy. This is a completion, though. Tens usually represent the completion of that energy. So, there is some sort of completion going on with uh, conflicting energies with your significant others in the month of November. Uh, the card that's following 
um, before I even talk about this card, the swords represent, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female energies. You may or may not have exchanges with those uh, energies or not. Now, I do feel because the King of Wands is showing up in the reverse following that Ten of Swords, it mirrors the Temperance card. So I know I'm talking about uh, or talking to someone, a Cancer, who is dealing with an energy of a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. And this is their energy, okay? But it's impacting you. King could be a um, female, so it could be male or female energies. And then this king showing up here normally, let me just show you up, <coughs> excuse me, in the upright position here. Um, if it's, it's an actual person, it could be actual person, but could also describe the energies of what one is feeling. So when it's in the upright, this king is all about being passionate, being focused, um, and going after what he um, has his focus or his mind or his heart set on. And also, too, it could be a card of intense, um, not only intense passion, but intense sex. Yeah, sexual energy. When it's in the reverse, it's the total opposite, okay? Either the person themselves or lacking uh, some, you know, uh, passion when it comes to the relationship or... Um, for some strange reason, they may have stepped out of focus. Focus might be on something else other than love. If it's not some cancers that I'm reading for that's dealing with this actual person, then this could also describe a decrease of all of those energies of decrease in passion, decrease in um, uh, sexual energy uh, and a decrease in some type of focus. All right. But still, I say not to despair. Next up is the three of Pentacles in the reverse. Emperance, I talked about briefly because I was getting a connection that someone who may be, you know, um, females in particularly uh, who may be uh, doing some sort of pregnancy test. And, you know, if you were concerned or if you were anxious and wanting to know this Empress in the reverse said that there's no pregnancy or the, the test could be negative, uh, but also to could represent a love triangle. Three of Pentacles could represent that same thing. Three of Pentacles is in the reverse. And this could be based on, you know, the workplace environment where someone was having an affair, you know, and it's not working out. This is a card when it's in the reverse that things aren't working out. They're not you're not getting along with that person or the person's not trying to get along with you. And trying to, uh, if it is uh, an entanglement of a, you know, a third person or you're part of a third energy, um, something's not working here. This is the card of not working uh, when it shows up in the reverse. In contrast, in the upright, it's the card of working together. You know, uh, keep it focused on uh, relationships. Uh, and I'm just picking it up because it is the pentacles that it could be based on a work environment situation, and it could be outside of the environment situation. This is not working with someone. It could be specific for uh, cancers who may be dealing with a true earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. All right. <clears throat> talked about the inference, talked about the moon. Here we have the queen of wands. See, whatever was lacking or whatever you feel may be lacking in the first half of the month, then it starts to pick up again because the queen of wands is here. And that's all about those things that I had said when I showed you in contrast with the King of Wands in the upright, being very passionate about your relationships, being very intense, could be great sexual energy. And she's focused, OK, going after what she wants. This is a court card. So this could actually be um, someone new coming in. If there was anyone who was dealing with a fire sign and their energy seems to be erratic in the first half of the month. I can sometimes, well, I can't sometimes, but I can attribute some of, the, some of the erratic behaviors due to the holidays. I'm telling you, the holidays does certain things to certain people. And by all means, it does affect the relationships for some strange reason. You know, Thanksgiving, then Christmas, it just drives people uh, not necessarily crazy, but it's because there's so much stuff going on. And um, a lot of it has to do with over committing yourself, OK, whether it's for your relationship that you're in or, you know, for um, family, which can affect or impact your relationships with others. So the ain't, you know, the energy sort of shifts or changes. 
excuse me, and this is why I said don't despair because of what, you know, I was saying that's up above. Queen of Wands representing Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Okay, this is somebody that could be um, new in terms of a, a relationship or connecting with someone new. Could be someone older, older Aries or older fire sign uh, in general. The next card up is the Hangman, and that's in the reverse. So this is the need to, it's a major arcana, it's in the reverse. It's a need to, um, when you notice this card, and I'm holding it in the reverse position, you see that she's walking She's walking straight, okay? So there may have been a situation, maybe because it's underneath the uh, king of wands here, and someone had to just, you know, take a step back and evaluate that relationship. Now, I'm holding it up in the upright position just to show you in contrast. It's like, you know, uh, some sort of air of mystery surrounding the relationship that you may be in. Um, it could be, um, you know, energy related to... Um, you know, someone sitting on the fence. It could be you, Cancer, sitting on the fence when it comes to a relationship. And it may be tied into a, a true fire sign, but it could be any zodiac sign. But when it's in the reverse, that means that you are coming out of the having the need to step back and evaluate that situation. And now you're if you look at the card, she's walking straight. OK, but her hair is still up on the ceiling. So but it still means that you're ready to move forward with whatever it is that you had to take a step back or evaluate uh, prior to um, proceeding ahead. OK, so this is a good card. Now, the final card here is the Eight of Wands, which is always a good card when it's in the upright because it's news coming very fast. Uh, positive news. This is communication. This could be a fast. Uh, it mirrors the Queen of Wands, so there could be a, a re new relationship for those singles that starts up very quickly and may take uh, till the till you know the tail end of the uh, month for it to t you know transpire. But whatever it is, it's going to be good. Uh, since you know, generally, uh, I oftentimes pick up you know um mail parcel packages we're not talking about that now we're talking about good communication we're also talking about the energy of fire again so aries leo sagittarius male or female so this is the form of communication good communication and it's always bringing uh with it some type of uh, good news and or surprises the surprises is always positive because it's in the upright position okay so that's what i have for you uh cancer uh, so it's really not that bad, even though, you know, it's absence of cups. Um, so try to make the best of the energy and just keep in mind, this is just all potential energy. OK, if it's, you know, as I always say, if it's not something that's affecting you or impacting you, don't worry about it too much. OK, now for the uh, cancer singles, I have selected from the rebel deck for you. Uh, you need some fucking yoga in your life, whatever that means or whoever needs to hear it. Ancient shit is cool for the coupled uh, Cancerians. And this, you know, these messages are interchangeable. So whoever needs to hear the messages, it may be for you. Uh, we can't be all things. The message on the reverse says uh, your ass needs some help. Ask for it. Hire it. Make it happen. OK, from Vera Sibilla, I have selected the card. Dottori, which is the doctor, he's the king of clubs. So, of course, if you look at this card, him being a doctor, someone laying in the bed, uh, let me just read to you specifically what this card means. The king would be an actual male energy. So this could be part of the uh, court cards and someone who comes along uh, and gives a helping hand. Now, whether or not I, I doubt very seriously that you're uh, someone comes along and, and, you know, you're sick. And then, you know, it turns out to be, um, <laughs> you know, a romantic relationship. But anything is possible, you know, anything is possible. Keep your mind open. But this card says specifically uh, regarding love, it says in love, it can indicate uh, a woman who wants to fix her partner. OK, thus highlighting her uh, driving motivation in the relationship allegorically. It represents something, a type of behavior, a situation, possibly a bad habit, uh, possibly a grudge, a broken heart, a trauma that needs um, healing or fixing because it may be the root of 
excuse me, it may be the root of a problem or crisis they are undergoing at the present moment. So this is what this King of Clubs um, represents. Strikingly, I thought it was going to be, it's mentioned as a woman, so I don't know if this is the, you know, a message going out for the female uh, Cancerians who are dealing with the uh, messages that I get. I just read to you and that there's a need for a relationship to be healed or there's some other kind of traumatic uh, situation going on. But that's what I have for you. Use it for, uh, you know, your good purposes or whatever and uh, make the best of this month. Please be safe. Always emphasizing that safety. If you've catched, <clears throat> if you have been listening to the news uh, or at least catching the headlines because I don't watch the news and stuff. A lot of shit has been going on. And I think we were part of the, you know, like the tower's energy. Three times that tower has shown up here, Cancer. So uh, look at what happened. And today, um, I just happened to see that they caught the alleged uh, bomber which was in you know the person was in florida uh so yeah that's all that tower stuff okay because i said the more times the tower shows up in a reading general reading or any love reading or whatever it's upheaval and destruction but keep in mind i also want to stress that even if it shows up uh in your sign or any uh another sign it may not just be energies that impact you personally it could also represent um the environment that you live in okay or a surrounding environment and it may not be uh you know those things that create that upheaval and destruction for you personally all right cancer i'm rambling have a good month happy thanksgiving happy shopping um try to be stress-free carefree and enjoy the holidays that are approaching till i talk to you again cancer take care bye